is not over. This is the first time that we've heard from her since she arrived in the United States. In our exclusive interview, she tells me about her life here, her struggles to recover from the brutality of that attack in Libya, and her efforts to move on here in the States. When I came, I never imagined life would be this hard. There's nothing easy. You have to work. You have to work. I mean, as we say in Libya, you have to kill yourself working just to survive. And I wish there even was work. The state I'm in seems cut off. There are no work opportunities. I've been going to the employment office for four months. Do you have any support from your family? My family supports me. I've been here for four months, and without the aid they send me every month, I could not have survived. $300 a month can do nothing. What, what would you like to do? Would you like to go back to your family in Libya? I'm sure everyone wants to return back to their own country, but I'm not mentally ready for that. I also feel personally I'm not ready to integrate back into this society. I feel life for me is hard because everything is so different from culture to language.